All right, well, hey, everybody. We are in May. Ooh, and it's going by fast. I know. We say in that every month now. I know, We're right? it till December. Uh, but in May, our spiritual focus is on fasting, uh, a discipline that Whitney says in his book is the, he believes, is the um, most misunderstood of the disciplines. Mm -hmm. And so what you got? What you think? Well, I agree with him. And, you know, it's something that I've done, but I haven't done regularly like uh, I probably should. Um, and, you know, when when I've done it, I, it's been very, it, it's, it, it's allowed me to have a, a wonderful time just kind of focused prayer and, and intentional uh, communion with God. But but it's not something that I, I've done regularly, and something, and so this has been this has been a, a very helpful time for me to re-energize mm -hmm. and to get me going back into you know practicing this discipline uh, more regularly. Yeah, well, I think you know as we talk about fasting, uh, and Whitney had talked about one of the misunderstandings of it is that well, I'm just going to be hungry. That's all I'm doing is not eating. Going to be hungry, and so that doesn't sound fun because. I know, I know my hanger, and <laughs> I can't be doing that. Um, but that's not what it is, it's just not eating. Right. You know, there's so much more to it and so much depth to fasting. Yeah. Well, let's tell them what fasting is all about. Or what, what is fasting? You know, fasting is, in, in the biblical sense, fasting is uh, most often seen with um, not eating. Um, and it, it's from various, there's various lengths of time that people fast and, and, um, but, the, and that's the most often what you see in the Bible. However, there are other things, um, in that we fast from, but fasting is really a discipline of doing, uh, of missing a meal or intentionally, um, not focusing on uh, a particular Thing that we enjoy like maybe television or social media or you know sports or a hobby or something like that even people because Jesus yeah. went away to fast by himself but but you know it, it's kind of one of those it's a discipline where we um, intentionally but voluntarily um, abstain. abstain thank you for that word <laughs> abstain from certain things most often food and uh, and then you know that time is then spent in in concerted prayer uh, and focus on God and His Word. Yeah, and I think that's like you said. That's the point is that there's a purpose behind it. Yes. All right. So there is abstaining from something. But uh, one of the stories Whitney gives in his book is talking about a guy who said, oh, "I'm going to try for a day to fast. Doesn't eat all day, and all day he's just thinking about if I can just get to midnight, I'll eat something and I'll be okay." And so all day he's just thinking about how hungry he is. And if you're doing that, then you're failing at the purpose of fasting. Yeah, you're missing the purpose. You're That's missing right. the point of it. And all you're doing is starving yourself or not doing something you enjoy just yeah. for the sake of not doing it. Uh, where what we see in Scripture and when it talks about fasting is fasting for the purpose of growing closer to God. Yes. Fasting for the purpose of like refocusing and trying to gain guidance and direction from God. Mm -hmm. It is something along those lines. So then when we're not eating, if we take eating, um, say when we miss a meal, instead of being like, man, I'm kind of hungry. I wish I could go eat something, but I'm going to starve myself. Instead, it's, man, I'm hungry. Why am I hungry? I'm hungry because I want to grow closer to God, because I want to build my relationship with Him deeper. Yeah. And so then your mind shifts, and instead of eating food, you then go to God's Word and start reading the Bible, or it starts spending time with God yeah. um, to focus on Him. Well, and, you know, the thing about fasting, too, is uh, God expects us to fast. Um, and that's, not, that's often something that is, we, we miss, is that there's an expectation uh, that God's people fast. I mean, God instituted certain fasts for the nation of Israel that, that were meant to be uh, perpetual you know, once a year, and eventually they add more. And, uh, and by the time you get to the New Testament, the Pharisees are saying, well, we, we fast twice a week and three times on Sunday or something like that. You know, it's, it, But they're, they're fasting regularly um, 
they're still missing the mark though. They're still yeah. missing the point. They're just going through a through routine. And but God expects us to to fast. Even Jesus in his the language that he uses uh, in the Gospels talks about when you fast, yeah. when you pray, when you give. And so those are expectations, and we don't see any of those things removed from the scriptures. So even today, there's an expectation that God's people will give, that they will pray, and they will fast. Yeah, and again, as we keep saying with all these months, fasting isn't like, okay, well, I'll finish the rest of the discipline, so let me put those aside, the side, and now focus on fasting. It's an addition to everything else we've done. Absolutely. So it's <laughs> saying, hey, look, I see, you know, Maybe I see in my life where I'm putting a lot of emphasis on social media or I'm putting a lot of emphasis on spending time with other people and being in social settings. Um, maybe it's I've noticed that in my life that I'm just not be focusing on God and being distracted by other things. Yes. And I want to fix that. I want to see that change in my life. So I'm going to spend this time to fast from whatever it is that we see that we should fast from. And instead, I'm going to focus that time. I'd typically be doing that on God yeah. and um, so then we do that and I think one of the again the dangers is to have this mentality where we start focusing on the thing we're getting away from and just being like you know a woe is me that I can't do this thing because I've made this promise to myself or promise to God or another side I think is we um, seeing fasting as like a hunger strike yeah. This idea of like, well, if I don't do this, then God has to answer me. Right. You know, God, I demand that God answers me, and I'm not doing this until he does. And like, that's not a good mentality either. Yeah. Uh, that's a great way to die, I think, from <laughs> starvation, because God doesn't have to answer us. Yes. And um, the purpose of fasting is not to get God to do what we want, but through being intentional and abstaining from these things, um, changes our heart and our minds to focus on what God desires yeah. and changes our will to God's will. That's right. Because uh, we see in Scripture that His thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. And so it re-corrects um, us to be in you know, line with Him, yes. not Him in line with us. Well, and that's, that's important. Yeah, and fasting is uh, certainly a discipline. And, uh, you know, if, if, uh, if you miss a meal or two, you know, that is... Obviously, our bodies will remind us that we're missing those meals, and it will it will try to get us to focus on the mm -hmm. fact that we're we're hungry. And what we have to then begin to tell ourselves is, yes, I'm hungry, but I want to be hungry for God. I want to be hungry mm -hmm. for His Word. I want to be hungry for the relationship mm -hmm. building that this exercise is going to to do and and but it needs to be something that's done voluntary it doesn't need to be something that is is coerced or forced mm -hmm. upon you because uh, i think the i think it needs to be uh, well I'm, I'm convinced that fasting needs to be something that is spirit filled and spirit led yeah and we see we do see fasting in the bible is done in two ways one is um individually where you as a believer says you know what i want to grow closer to christ but then we do see a corporate side where it's like, hey, we need, we're looking to make this decision for Christ. Yes. And so we call for believers to come together uh, and to fast mm -hmm. for the glory of God. There's and, even national fasts. Yeah. Uh, the nation of Israel called to fast, uh, all of the, the entire nation. And, and I think some of our founding fathers even called our, uh, the, early, the early United mm -hmm. States to a national fast. Yeah. And it's for the purpose of being more like Christ, being more godly and focusing more towards God. Um, and I think with fasting, though, you know, again, one of the things I think that becomes fearful is like, okay, well, what, how do I do? If I go to get rid of food, does that mean I just don't eat or drink for 40 days and 40 nights? Um, which is, you know, we see that in Scripture, um, but that gets very scary when you're like, oh, man, for the whole month of May, am I going to eat or drink anything? Well, and see that, I think there is some supernatural... Yeah. Uh, work in in those kinds yeah. of fastings. I mean, I'm yeah, not yeah. saying it can't be done. I'm sure there are people who do it, but um, I think there's a supernatural uh, oh, yeah. a, a movement of God in in our body functions yeah. uh, to be able to do those kind of fasts. Yeah, because yeah, it it gets dangerous not to eat or drink for that long. Well, food one thing, drink, water yeah. is is a whole different animal. And so it's not that mentality, but we see various types of fasts where it's a you know. 
through I'm not gonna eat for a week but I'll still drink water yeah um, we'll see where it's you know only eating one meal a day in the evening we see like various types where it's not this doesn't have to be this okay no food or water for this period of time yes for this long period of time yeah um, but it could vary depending on what God is drawing us to and I think it to go into fasting and one of the things we talked about beginning May was okay when we look at fasting you know let's pray about it first before mm-hmm. either you know we jump into it ourselves right not just go all right let me throw a dartboard you know dart yeah. at the wall and see what kind of fasting I'm doing but to truly be in prayer and saying God show me because I want to do this for your glory yeah absolutely and, and let's 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 talk about a uh, different types of fast because you kind of mm-hmm. alluded to that different kinds of fast one of these is uh like there's an occasional fast where uh, it's done uh, as the need arises. Mm-hmm. Um, for instance, you know, even as a church now, we're we are seriously in need of of um, growth and space. I mean, you know, to, to expand yeah. our campus footprint to have more space. And so, you know, there 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 probably will be in in short order a place for us to. Uh, come together as a congregation mm-hmm. and call each other, you know, call a congregation to fast uh, and seek God's, you know, guidance on how we might participate, you know, how, how we might uh, solve that, that issue, how God would have us to solve that problem. And, and that's something to consider, yeah. you know, and we'll see where the Spirit leads in that. But that's not, that's, you know, or you may have an occasion where you uh, are, you know, anticipating a very uh, big decision in, in your family and your work, and and uh, it it might be a time for you to uh, fast and and spend that particular time um, focused on on seeking God's will for for that. Mm-hmm. And so you've got the occasional fast. The normal fast is is uh, a, a normal fast is is going without food but not without water, you know, you yeah. still drink water and stuff. And then a partial fast is um, kind of like you yeah. mentioned about having one meal a day. Yeah. So you don't you do not do away with all food. You just um, uh, do away with some food. Mm-hmm. And, then, um, and then you've got the absolute fast is what we think of as, you know, no food, no water uh, for a period of time. And, and, uh, and so... Um, those are the things to be considered, and then you have the private fast, where you, as a as a Christian, uh, feel like uh, God is leading you to uh, fast in in one of these ways, and that uh, you do so privately. Nobody nobody knows about it. You know, Jesus even said, when you fa- when you fast, mm-hmm. you know, don't don't go around sobbing and telling everybody how hungry you are because you're doing a fast. He says, no, you know, let your countenance be normal. Let your, you know, let yourself be, be normal. Nobody should know mm-hmm. that you're fasting. And so, well, and um, even going as far as, you know, talking about making yourself appear as if nothing's wrong with you at all. Yeah. You know, your yeah. body is showing signs that you haven't been eating. Do things to show that, like to hide that because the, the goal isn't for others to see but it's between you and God and wanting it only between you and God. And so, you know, so there are different types of fasting, different different ways to do it, but there is, does need to be a caution for people like myself who take medications Mm -hmm. daily. Um, You know, if I don't have something to eat with when I have my medications, uh, I will get very sick. Mm -hmm. It'll make me very sick. And so you have to be, there's a lot of folks that have to be cautious about those kind of things. And then, and then there are other people who are maybe diabetic that Mm -hmm. can't go without meals or certain, uh, their, their fasting has to be, um, modified or done in such a way that it doesn't do harm to the body because it's not meant to be harmful. This is meant to be a good thing. And so we, you know, we can fast, um, you can fast from things like we mentioned, uh, other than food. Yeah, so. and I think that's a big key, and one of the things that is misunderstood is that, you know, oh, our excuses that are used of like, oh, well, I have this going on, so I can't fast. Right. It's like, okay, well, there's multiple types of fasting, yeah. and so if our purpose is to grow in godliness, grow to be more like God, then okay, I know that this is a physical issue that hinders me from being able to, you know, do a 
long time with no food. Yes. And so instead, God, again, going back to prayer, God, what do you have for me that helps can help me grow closer to you? Yeah. And uh, maybe, again, maybe it's social media. Like, hey, look, I've noticed I've been on social media. Let me cut that out um, for the month. And instead of, you know, when I wake up in the morning, if I'm going to go to Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or whatever it is, instead of that, I'm going to wake up and go to the Bible. Yes. I'm going to wake up and go to prayer. Uh, when I'm on lunch break and I want to go scroll mindlessly to get my mind off of work or whatever I'm doing, instead of doing that, you go to the Bible and go through to prayer. Mm -hmm. And so it's cutting that and going to prayer. Yeah. Um, you know, we see also in Scripture talking about the social side of instead of going to, you know, hey, you know, I could go hang out with some friends, but instead I'm going to spend some time with God today, and I'm going to choose God over the things I usually do, mm -hmm. and spend that hour, two hours praying yeah. and seeking God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there will be some tools on the website for you to um, use in in guiding the your your fasting, your this discipline of fasting, and. Uh, uh, if you've got questions or, or comments or, you know, if you'd just like to share maybe some of your experiences uh, with us, we'd love to hear yeah. what uh, what your experience in, in your journey of fasting. Yep. Uh, so I think, you know, summarizing the whole video, yeah. ultimately the first step, go to prayer and get to God and say, God, is this something I should do? Well, it is something we should do. It's nice to do it. So what should I do to fast? Then look to actually doing it and replacing that time you spend doing whatever you're fasting from yeah. spend it with God um, and do it for a purpose you know again do it to grow close to God do it to look for wisdom do it yes. to for something along those lines yeah it's a spiritual discipline yeah. and so it, it is to be done for spiritual purposes